Hello everybody from London here with my harp and my advent calendar. Well, what a year it's been. Um, I started off the year being very poorly actually. I was very ill from late last year, more so than usual with my McArdles, and I was negotiating London hospitals during Covid, which was no fun. Um, and during this time I became very low, um, but I thought to myself I have to do something. And I started to embrace nature more than ever. And although I live in the city of London, I live slightly on the outskirts of London. And I realized that I'd got lots of walking places because I have walked a lot, but I didn't realize quite how many. And I discovered some wonderful walks, really country walks with trees and lakes and rivers and wonderful, wonderful places to go. So I decided that I would embrace it. And although I had actually a lot more pain than normal, um, the walking was the only thing that took me away from my thoughts about what was going on and all the rest of it and the sad times that we were all in. So on my own, as we McCardleys don't like walking with anyone else anyway, and we were all isolating, I did walk on my own and I started to take pictures because oftentimes we use our phone with McArdles, we use our phone as an excuse to stop and pretend we're looking at something. But I used my phone to start looking through properly at some of this nature, took photographs, came home, put them on my big screen, and then I reflected on them and played the harp and uh, improvised behind them. Started putting some of these on Facebook and the others started enjoying them as well. Then I put some words to them, sometimes from Rumi or Hafiz, the Persian poets, or some other words just for help for reflection and they seem to have gone down well and I've enjoyed so much um, just being out in the fresh air even if it was not always sunny and it wasn't it was raining but I just embraced it all and thought let it be because I can't do much else I lost all my harp work in from March onwards it was devastating really I'd already had a devastating loss, having to give up my work in BBC Symphony Orchestra after losing the sight completely in my right eye. So to have another loss like this soon after, I couldn't uh, really accept that at the time. Um, and I quickly had to turn my head around and decide what else to do. And the walking really, really helped. And then to take on the photography and then coming back um, and playing the harp to it and just reminiscing about what I'd just seen and thinking about people and letting my mind calm down, it helped tremendously. Um, and then during the year, I've had to embrace technology. I'm hopeless at it, but slowly, slowly, I embraced technology. I gave a couple of Zoom harp lessons and then a lecture recital to Miami harp department um, and um, a little bit of recording as well. And that's how I've managed. Um, I think now I've learned to pace myself more, to take more time daily with everything. And if I don't achieve what I thought I was going to, well, so be it. What can I do? What can we do in these difficult times? We can only do what we can. Um, I've tried to be there for other people who are much more needy than I, especially young musicians. Um, and um, that, that's all we can do is try and help each other. Without the AGSD this year, I'm not sure I would have coped because I've had a great deal of help from people um, with all sorts of uh, troubles I've had this year, should we say. Um, and now that we're near the end, all I can hope for is that um, we all embrace what we can do, and what little things we can take pleasure in. And I've started to take pleasure in the tiniest of things. Um, I suppose as a musician, I've always tried to find the detail in everything anyway, so that I can embrace it in my playing. Um, but now it's in everyday things, it's in little objects, it's in that lovely cup of tea, um, even though you might be on your own with it because you can't socialise so much. Um, it's something that we, we've just tried to do something different, or I have. So, um, of course, I wish everyone on here a very, very happy, a festive season and it make the most of everything we can, all of us. That's all I can do. And what I hope for most of all is that we'll all see each other in 2021 in person. That's my biggest wish. Thank you. I thought I'd play as a gentle piece just before Christmas.
Here are a couple of Welsh tunes just to cheer us up. Thank you. 